You set it off. You <laughs> Bro, please save that. <laughs> Fucking hell. Bro, <laughs> I feel like I'm in Iraq or some shit. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck? How did the that ceilings in Turkey are falling from the. <laughs> <laughs>Welcome to another episode of the Cancelable Podcast. My name is Bardia. I'm okay. here with Kurosh. Okay, that's all. You, he's so afraid of being gay at the intro. Nothing. He's like, Kurosh. <laughs> Yo, and it's Faisal. What's and up? Faisal. By the way, just so you guys say that it's fair, last episode when I sucked on my finger, I included the clip. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah I did. did. I didn't see it. Yeah, yeah, no, episode, you know, episode 11. Episode, episode 10. Coming, episode oh. 10. That it's going to be soon. Like, he's like full on like, yeah, yeah. I, I put so you guys don't say that you're the editor. You just put the bad ones of us or whatever. Bro, I realize in every Instagram reel we have, I'm always like this. Bro, it's I, I'll tell you after okay, why. No, it's it's because like on TikTok when you post it, it's not like a it's like a two it's second not a fixed cover image. Photo. So while you're saying something, it's like yeah, but just just make it the wall or something. No, man. because we add subtitles to our videos, the subtitle has to be a good subtitle. So <laughs> it happens a lot that the subtitle is right in the middle when you're like, like doing this, <laughs> and you do this a lot, by the way. What? Open my mouth and talk? No, no very like, like <laughs> you know. And also what are you thing. talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Can you flip that camera screen? Yeah, and you also flip mine, bro. Okay, okay, I'll do this. Yeah, Barty has stepped, stepped out of the studio. He's uh, yeah, he's kicked out. Going to get some coffee. Okay. Ask for tits. Why, man? Why? This why isn't the gonna... video, right? <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the podcast. <laughs> oh, sorry. Why, why do you gonna pick? Wait. No, okay, remove that then. Uh, personality, <laughs> 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 eyes or teeth? <laughs> what do you like? Oh fuck! Wait, do I have to well, that's this? actually a good one though. I'm not gonna remove this. Eyes or teeth? No. Who gives a shit? I don't know. He says he's a good one. Oh, te- teeth? Like, would you rather have a girl that has beautiful eyes but horrible teeth? Or shitty no. ass, dull eyes and... Yeah, no eyes. I don't care. Teeth be okay. Yeah, but don't you understand like, the teeth can be fixed but eyes can't? Okay, Sunglasses. I mean... Sunglasses. <laughs> like, you're, you're in the cinema and you just want to kiss. Babe, why do you keep making me wear these... <laughs> Put it back on. No, but you I assumed go home. when you ask the question, it means that there's no like, yeah, for your eyes, if your eyes are fucked up, you can get lenses or you can get the yeah. eyelid surgery. No, but like you have to realize, it's not that just eyes are fucked up. Are we talking about like, cr- like cross-eyed bitches, like walking no, around with great teeth? cross like, eyes, one eye is higher than the other one, like one is like Where are you up. finding these women? I'm not finding them, I'm just telling you, it can be really fucked up, but no matter how fucked teeth are, they can be yeah, fixed. Yeah, but when no, you but ask eyes can like, be fixed also. When you ask, if it's one, Baggio, when you ask, would, <laughs> when you ask, would you rather questions? It's usually like you have to stick with what it comes, not like okay. change the whole context of. Okay, I get it. Like it's not like if you say, "Oh, would you rather be with a poor bitch or a rich bitch that's ugly?" You're like, "Well, I'll take the poor one and teach them how to invest in stock market." Like it's gonna be a poor bitch till the end. Which one do you want? So would you rather? That's how it works. Wouldn't you? I believe your answer wouldn't be that. Actually, you'd be like, "I married the rich yeah, bitch. I kill her." <laughs> like, not kill her. Wait her to die off of natural causes. What if she's like twenty? People have heart attacks at 21. <laughs> Why do you keep feeding me salt, babe? I'm telling you. It's good Salt's for you. best for you. Yeah. Salt's best for you? <laughs> good English. Yeah. Good. What are we going to have for lunch? Bacon. Dinner. Bacon. Breakfast. More bacon. Yeah, bacon. <laughs> with with like first. two <laughs> teaspoons of butter added. MSG <laughs> on top of it to make it taste good. Bro, have you, do you know this Indomie? Indomie mm. noodles? That shit has so much MSG in what it. What is MSG? I keep hearing people talking it's about it. It's some I don't know the, sort of... It's like a white powder. Yeah, it has like some chemicals in shi- inside but it. Why does it Chired. make everything good? Chired. Hmm? Why does it... Ap- like it raises your cholesterol and all this. So. No, but apparently it makes the flavor better, right? Yeah, it's like... It, it. I think it makes it taste like salty and such. has a certain flavor, but okay. it's like bad for the body. Yeah, uh, Bardia, see. check out what MSG is. Is that what he's checking? You kind of put the spotlight on me too quick, but uh, <laughs> it, MSG may contribute to a vari- variety of conditions, including obesity, uh, uh, central nervous it? system disorder, and reproductive malfunctions. Uh, One of us ain't got a problem. It says, what is MSG and why is it so good? <laughs> MSG provides more flavor with less sodium. 
So that that's why like it's huge, <laughs> but it's. Good. Thank, thank you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, let's just. I, 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 you did good. You did good, buddy. Yeah. You literally put me on the spot. Like, what yeah, you, why'd you put him on the spot? Yeah, yeah, him, so, him. Why are you fingering me? <laughs> Man spreading. <laughs> You're what? Man spreading. Oh, yeah. what did you hear? Oh, just Man explaining. No, I was like, it's weird. Isn't it? <laughs> you guys, it's a rough start for a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, uh, just so you guys know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, but. Just, so, just so you guys know. We, oh, I'm going to cut half of this shit off. <laughs> we, had, uh, we had lunch with each other and we just had a food coma. Yeah. And now starting the podcast. So Didn't our brain. That much, though. I, would, I was kind of surprised like how much of a tour it took, it's, took on us. What? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I am in a food coma. Yeah, I love it. That Barry, uh, was like, he sees the mic. He's like, nah. So good. <laughs> yeah. so as I was saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> avoid okay. the mic at all costs. So yeah, we're we're a little bit um, we're Off. a little bit not in our senses right now. No, we got it, we got it. We but got it. going back to our last episode, when we were talking about conspiracy theories. I think uh, we didn't have enough time to discuss all the topics that were there, and I think we came to an agreement that on our next episodes we'll talk about one theory. Right. Yeah, yeah. One theory an episode. Like whenever we do a conspiracy episode, we should stick to like one or maybe two small ones. Yeah. But right now we're gonna take a pause for this disclaimer to be played. We do not want to contribute to the spread of misinformation. We are approaching this in a humorous manner. This is purely for entertainment. We are not validating or condoning any of these uh, conspiracy theories. Uh, because they can be incredibly harmful or misleading. We are not doctors, scientists, experts in any of these fields. But, I mean, we don't have to actually pause. Like, it's, <laughs> like, it's not like we actually have to stay. No, I didn't know bo- where you're going with the pause. That's why I wait. Yeah, like, I, like, like, I want to drop no, a bombshell. Like, I'm pregnant. Th- everyone's going to be like, holy shit. Like, I don't know where this disclaimer is going to be played. So, like, they know that, like... Honestly, I was going to put the disclaimer in the, beginning. in the beginning of the video. Yeah, what the fuck, man? Anyways. Because then what? We go from this to you with a different outfit on. Then so, unpause, unpause. Yeah, so, Bardia... Guys, this episode is so fucking No, no, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Don't, don't, bro, you gotta roll with the times. Negativity, bro. Yeah, bro, you gotta roll with the times. Just roll with okay. the dice. So, Tides. so, t- <laughs> bro, you're not in the same waveform. <laughs> but, uh, Bardia, last episode, I was gonna say last season, <laughs> last episode, you weren't able to tell us your th- conspiracy theory that you searched. Okay, so, like, full on, like, I'm just gonna set the. Okay. Just. The one you told me before is absolutely not true, okay? Not all black guys are criminals. Don't go into that Fuck one, you. Don't set me up for this shit. Don't do the whole that Tom and so Bert motherfucker. Like, fuck you. <laughs> he calls me in the morning. He's like, bro, I'm like stuck no, in this stop, YouTube stop, hole. stop, pause, <laughs> pause, like, pause, pause, pause. No, no, stop. Like, don't, don't like, put me on the door. Like, are you talking about Bardia who lives on this street? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bardia. In this <laughs> P.O. box. Yeah, so don't and go into that one. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. No, but the thing is that, so this one that I looked up is we can label it as conspiracy theory, but in a way I would like to like talk about it. But at the same time, I want our own thoughts and everything to kind of go into it. As in like, what do you think? What What is your perspective on it? What Like, it's not just like, these are the facts laid out. Why are you smiling like that? I was just thinking of making another comment no. about black guys not being criminals. <laughs> so we know who's <laughs> thinking that. Like, I said they're not. Exactly. Oh, I said they're not. <laughs> can you stop interrupting him so he can finish his fucking thing? Yeah, true. But yeah, continue. This is a safe space. So basically, I I want to say like what I th- like what are the facts like what what basically is the concept, but we can explore it in every way because again, this is our not. We're not trying to spread information. We're just trying to discuss topics for entertainment. Yeah. So we can be like, yeah, bro, like aliens came and everything like that. I mean, I've seen a couple of videos where aliens have came. <laughs> <laughs> Define <I> came. <laughs> a lot of times. <laughs> Many places. From all eight tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So so what have you researched? And please so tell us about it. Basically, there is this. Uh, let's put his uh, profession as journalist, uh, this guy named Hancock. Um, he has been bashed from the archaeologists and his like historians like community as like 
spreading this false information and everything and like that his um claims are not true what's the subject he's the journalist for like so he's been like on this topic for a while now like and i think his first book came at in like 1995 or so like that he is claiming that bef- like back then thousands of years ago what's happened nothing keep going bro. thousands of years <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I don't know. Like, are you My man, you're dragging it on, bro. Just fucking say he's an investigative journalist or he's an archaeologist. You're like, this man came from 1975, dude. No, I'm just saying, like, basically he claims that... Um, <laughs> Fuck. Fucking the way he like yesterday he was so fast. You're like came from 1975. Notes in front of him. I'm trying to just like set the scene so we can talk about okay, it. Okay, let me guide you so you cut, <laughs> cut through it. What's the topic he he he's done this on for 20 years? So there there are there were advanced ancient civilization. Okay, okay. that like after the ice age like era. Mm-hmm. So around like 12,000 years ago, okay. all historians are archaeologists like. Like, say that the humans were hunters and gatherers. And then when civilization came and everything, we became farming and livestock and everything like that. But what it's stating that, what he's stating and claiming is that, you know, there were, there was a presence of ancient civilization that were far more advanced than the normal hunter gatherers. And then the Ice Age happened and they got wiped? No, or like this is the, after the Ice Age? Basically, what, what, there is a Netflix documentary called Ancient Apocalypse okay. that kind of covers this, that says that, like, cover, like, and also, like, supports his claims that saying that we can't ignore the truth, like, the truth that we're, like, there's a certain truth that we're ignoring here, mm-hmm. that there's pure evidence that indicates that there were uh, advanced civilizations present the presence of it you can see it and there are so many myths so basically you know the whole uh story of no noah that's the one with the, the boats ark? and the animals yeah, yeah, the, yeah the animals so what like do you think there's any truth to the flood no. to the boat everything like that the flood may have been but okay the guy took a boat and uh, can no we, it, can we go in? we shouldn't yeah anyway can go into it what the fuck it's a religion Bro, you're talking on in terms of scientific. You're not, you're not de- yeah, denouncing okay. a religion. So how the fuck do you take one boat, you go to every corner of the earth, pick up a pair of each animal, that the only way they First survive is... First of all, correct is yourself. The animals came, came to, to the him. boat. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know lions can drive across, uh, fucking swim across oceans. <laughs> and then the main source of food for half of, half of these animals is the other animals. But no, they're like, no, for this fucking month or whatever, this how long, however long this lasts, yeah. we're just going to fast. We'll just all fucking eat leaves and shit. That aside, so he had a boat. No one else had a boat. Everyone else is like, oh, our boat sunk. Well, I mean, the we're, concept of the story, you have to re- think about it. You can't say... I'm not saying the story is true, okay, first right. of all. But I'm saying, like, the whole thing is that he knew there was a flood coming because he got the message that there was, right? So he builds this ship, right, that can house all these, like, animals Titanic. and everything like yeah. that. Well, Titanic sank, so it would have been a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think Titanic didn't sink. There was another one. but f- So there was two ships that were identical, apparently. Okay. And the one that sank was, I think, valued less than Titanic. I don't remember the story completely. It was valued less than the Titanic. But once that one sinks, the guy says, no, this was the Titanic ship that sank, so he gets more money from the insurance company. Oh, shit. I think I heard this somewhere, but then again, I don't know if it I was from a so. conspiracy nut. But, or but, but let's uh, let's go back to his conspiracy. Yeah, right. So basically, the, the story of the flood, mm-hmm. right, so in this documentary that he talks about, talk, like he does, so there are cultures from everywhere. We go from, like, for example, uh, countries that, like the so- South America, mm. like in the Nor- Northern America, like in the United States, uh, places like Turkey and all this. Yeah. Like you see this myths of legends and everything that like evolves around the concept that there was a great flood Okay. Because at that point, whoever they praised and everything, like, was anger, like, anger with them, or there was something that created this flood that, like, killed a lot of people. Mm-hmm. There were survivors. They settled. And in all of them, there is someone who comes to them with great knowledge of engineering, 
mm-hmm. and leads them to be to, to like get them to like lead them to civilization. Right. See, it gives them rules and everything like that. Okay. So for example, in like Mexico, like the pre Mayans and everything, like like they get like there is a war, they get rid of them and everything like that. But all of them show that there it, there, there were people who were much more advanced, right? Okay. And this concept also brings into the whole, uh, the pyramids, right? Mm-hmm. Like, by the way, lately there's this like whole uh, story that's pointing out that in Antarctica, mm-hmm. there there are pyramids that you can see. Okay. And there are videos that are saying like, this is a fucking pyramid, it's not a mountain that you're looking at. Oh, that size. That, like, it's a huge ass fucking like pyramid. That everyone's like, oh, no, it's a fucking mountain. And no one's, like, trying to, like, th- this is the struggle that he's going through. He's like, these are the facts. Okay. What I'm laying to you, I'm saying, like, this is the culture story. No, but other than, uh, I don't know how much you research it, but other than the stories of, like, the aligning, yeah. aligning, what are the physical evidences of So, this? for example, the buildings, the monuments and everything that's, like, built there, right? Where? Like, for example, Turkey, oh, the country, Mexico, okay, okay, okay. the United States, and everything like that, right? What they include in them, right, the way the structure is and everything, as a hunter gatherers, right, in terms of like if you were, if in terms of historians and archaeologists, like when they were viewed as very simple, they hunted like right. animals very, and ga- the hunters and gatherers, yeah, like yeah. The, the name explains it itself, right? So they were not capable of building those structures that were so advanced. Like there in Turkey, there is a built, there is a whole system of uh, structure underground that can house thousands of people, okay. and is so well structured that they're like there's no way someone w- was capable of doing that. Mm-hmm. The way the the stone the the material that was used for under like these pyramids that were used, the stones are so big, and the engineering that was involved in it. It would, must be like someone had to okay. have such an advanced knowledge of how to construct it that a hunt, simple hunter gatherer cannot do the same thing. So basically, the if I got this right, yeah, the evidence of like all the engineering and everything would have that would have been needed to build those structures doesn't match up with what the archaeologists originally thought within that time period after it, the ice yeah, age. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So. There were there had to be a source. There had to be a source of people that in all these like what wherever these monuments are present, right? Mm-hmm. There is a myth and a legend of a person coming in, <clears throat> teaching them and telling them how to do so, and they are heavily like again, we we all, we know we're talking about hunter and gatherers, right? They are heavily involved around the concept that the buildings have extreme accuracy of studying astrology like okay. the way the building is constructed that like head sets exact angle of sunset when there's spring winter and fall like that kind of like the way they studied the stars the way this carved in the stones this is not a hunter gatherer of a kind of a um level of knowledge level of knowledge right so he's saying there is the presence you can't ignore that there was a presence how they access that like he's leaving that to the question he's like how they access i'm not saying okay there was a like a giant man as some a lot of the myths say that they came in that could lift the 50 ton fucking stone and put them correctly into each other to build this monument i'm not saying that this guy came i'm saying but there was something that gave them the knowledge to do so okay and the way the maps even like were uh, put out, he was saying like there was this map that says like this area was Atlantis. Oh, okay. The yeah, loss of Atlantis. That. And he said even the Bahamas, you can study the stones that are in front of it that indicates that there's a pathway. Mm. But because before the flood and everything, the water was lower. Right. So the city sank. And another person that he actually claimed like says where the you can also look at like for example plato the philosopher right Right. talks about the advanced city of atlantis right and says atlantis was where these great advanced civilization right Right. that they they sank Mm -hmm. right and the timing of that story of the atlantis sinking aligns exactly with the great flood 
The timing oh, sure. of okay. all these stories of where the flood is, of what it's been carved in the stones, and the carbon dating that they've been actually been allowed to get, do uh, aligns exactly with the Great Flood. Mm. It's saying that the Great Flood uh, extinct, like caused the extinction of this ancient, uh, like advanced civilization. Mm. And the ones who remained tried to spread out and get past this knowledge to people. As stories. As stories. Like, it's like, no, th these are the rules. You should abide these rules. You should oh, build okay, it okay. like this. You should use this. You should study astrology. So when you think of advanced civilization and now, they, like, now, like now, right? We think we're the most advanced we've you, ever been. We think so because of technology, right? There was this great point. This is not on the documentary. There was this great point that was discussed as well. So when you think advanced, you think immediately technology. Because what's made our generation right now so advanced is because of technology, right? But it's not saying that they were technological advanced, like they had AIs and stuff, right? But the study of nature, astrology, and everything that was involved, they had much more knowledge because our advancements in terms of technology has created a dependency, okay? Right. But for them, it wasn't technology that was involved. It was the nature that they did. Mm -hmm. So on Rogan, even, Hancock appears multiple times, like seven, eight, maybe seven, eight times. And there's another go, uh, guy. Um, Wait, I can actually get the name real quick. Because um, I was uh, uh, Randall Carson, right? Okay. So that guy. Uh, was like one. I think the second or third time that they were on the uh, Rogan together, they were saying it's not about like they created a crane that operated by itself, but it's the fact that they actually knew how to tap into frequencies and sound. Like one of the episodes, they said that you can manipulate frequency and sound to move objects because we know frequency and sound have like, like force, right? Mm -hmm. So in terms of like, there is no. 100% explanation of how the pyramids in the Egypt are, like, made. Well, not only that, but uh, there's pyramids in South America, I forgot which country, but that are bigger than the ones in Egypt. That's the on Mayans document. the documentary. Yeah, the uh, documentary. I'm not sure actually if it's the Mayans or not. Or the Aztecs. Uh, yeah, Aztecs, maybe. There's one of them that they said, oh, there's just piles of stones here, right? Mm. When they did the, like, fuck, what's the ground radiation like something study that like they see like how deep is the ground and everything they saw absence and they found out there uh, uh, below that pyramid that now is not like together there are three chambers. levels of chambers that's like can put in like people can like we're in it right and that kind of uh technology is not something that even right now people like you know like at this it. present time it's hard to figure out you know, so there, it's really hard, like the Persian culture, right? Our uh, religion previously was like one of the most, like is the eldest uh, religion yeah. and it's because it's still practiced as well. It's a Zoroastrian one, right? Mm -hmm. In the Zoroastrian religion, it also talks about that there is a serpent, which in, in the document it talks about the serpent is actually the comet coming down. Okay. That will cause a flood, hmm. and the flood will come. Like the story of the flood is so throughout that you're not like you no longer think of it as a myth or a legend. It's something that right, actually it's happened. Because it's not one culture or one religion. It's everywhere around the same time. Okay. Yeah, in different cultures. And it's not just like oh that one's they're all right next to neighboring. It's not neighboring. It's very close, like far away, all across like halfway across the world and they have it you know i might be the devil's advocate here and discuss that a lot of these things might not be you know as remarkable as they sound i mean when you talk about you know all these religions having the same theme you know one of the biggest arguments is that a lot of the religions that play after another religion sort of take their foundations from that religion. 100%. Right? Like, because there's no way Jesus could, could, like, make up a whole religion because Jesus, at, at the beginning, was during, like, the... So they take, they take that and they take the stories. I have heard also about the flood, and there are proof that s water levels did rise, right? Yes. Around the world. And your point to Noah's Ark, they even believe that Noah's Ark might be on a mountain 
a mountainside in Turkey because they did some uh, satellite imaging and they see that there's something in a mountain that could look like a Dao, you know? So I think that some of it's true. Um, I also don't believe, like, like I, in terms of civilizations that have disappeared or perished, examples of this are, you know, the Aztec, Mayans, the Mayan calendar, we all remember, was such a big thing. Oh, my God. Was that the one that was like 2000? Yeah, 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 yeah. 2010 or 2012. The documentary, I don't mean to cut you, but the documentary also covers that. The two, December 22nd or over 2012 mm-hmm. wasn't supposed to be the end of the world. That's it not was what just, the mind no, 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 but they actually indicated. Exactly, but that's that's just how they romanticize it, right? So are you telling me a civilization that couldn't see the Spanish or Portuguese coming and annihilating them, but they had a calendar that said on 2012 would happen, you know? So that's, again, an, a, another um, sort of fault in that. No, I do believe... The, the fault you're stating is not like... It's not that they're mentioning it. No, but no, but the, what you're saying is that they, they couldn't foresee another, like uh, another civilization kind of coming through and like capturing them, get, taking them down, and everything like that. No, but the mind calendar. You have to think about this. Like the calendar study is based on astrology. What this document is also talking about is the fact that how uh, observant they were of the stars and the everything in like. What, what the sky above us are saying, right? So they were studying that. That's what, like, our, like the Persian calendar, our calendar, starts and ends with the seasons, right? And that's dependent on the sun, the earth, and everything, right? right. So it's it's not that, oh, like, us, we could even see that, like, oh, this is happening. Like, it's two different concepts. You can't, you can't say this, this proves the other because they're very different. This is seeing the future. This is seeing, like, the... The study of the stars. You get what I yeah, mean? Yeah, but the study of the stars and them saying that, you know, minds were so accurate in predicting all these things, but they weren't, right? You studying the stars, right? Being able to tell when winter is coming and, you know, uh, basically astrology is where the Earth is situa- situated in our solar system, which is a repetitive thing that if you do look at it more than three or four times a year, you get a rhythm that comes out of it and you're able to read it, right? It's like in astrology, how astrology helps sailors navigate because they were able to pinpoint certain stars and they could say, listen, based on this um, alignment, right? I am here, I am there. What I'm saying to you is that I feel like a lot of these things are sort of romanticized in a way like, Okay, you know, in the last episode, I said that I believe that there are aliens and I believe there are this. But it's like, you know, we don't give credit to the ingenuity that we had in those times. Because as you said, right, we've become too dependent on that technology that basically can solve the problem for us. Mm -hmm. We've developed technology which will give us the answer. Mm -hmm. We just have to input the raw data, a lot of it, yeah? If you look at this chat GDP... GPT, GDP? yeah, Excel is like yeah, even no, exactly. An example. Yeah, exactly. You feed it raw data, you get the people answer, talking so about like people talking about pyramids, pyramids being so. Oh my God, I don't know how it's done, but there are many now. There are many ways that it could be done. They use water to lift the stones and move them along no, the Nile. Actually, I've no. looked into this. All the ways that they theorized, like how they move the the stones and all of that, it doesn't add up. There's no definite way that you can say this is possible, even if we use the technology that we have today to do it. The erosions on the stones on the pyramid itself from rain from rain and water, like the from waterfall, right? That itself, because how it was dated of when the pyramids were built, right? That itself becomes fault. Because the amount of rainfall that caused the erosions on the on the stones, right? I want to show one of you. No. Like the amount of the ero- the waterfall that caused erosions on the stones, right, was not possible based on how long it's backdated of when it could have been built. Oh, but but erosion look erosion only happens if you have a constant flow of water, constant. There has to be exactly. constant rushing of of water on a certain point that will cut and go through the rock. In the pyramids, you don't barely like. I mean, you get rain no, no, once but in a while. This is. This is because I actually, I don't know this guy and all of this documentary and I watched the documentary, <clears throat> but this specific point, I know this because I've heard it on a different podcast. 
So they once they revised the level of erosion that currently shows on the pyramids, now it's a given thing that they misdated the age of like when they assumed it was made based on those erosions. No, no, but so this is not a theory anymore. This is I understand that for erosion you need to have constant water and all of that. But for the level of erosion that there is on the pyramids, now that they looked at it again, mm-hmm. it's now this is a no, no, thing I get that that. it's a wrong dated K- Kurosh, I understand that that's you know Can I be honest? I don't get what you're arguing. Like I'm a little lost. No, no, I'm arguing in the sense that you know he's talking about there being oh the some some advanced technology was given to these people, like so advanced. But I believe that it's it's a little bit of like you know, it although I don't know the answer of how they cut these stones and how they move these things, do you really believe that they were able to control sound to move things okay, wait, wait, in wait, those days? First of all, I have very limited amount of even even right now, I can't argue with you fully because otherwise that would make me an expert. Mm-hmm. For me to argue everything to the full extent, I need to have all the details, right? But when it comes to the concept of, uh, for example, the sound thing, for sure, I have even much more minimal amount of knowledge about that, right? That was no, just no, but a this mentioning. is not a debate. This is no, no, no. It's not like I'm trying to undermine both of your things. I'm simply well, saying... I don't have a thing. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 but you asked me what okay. my argument no, is. No, because I... So the way I understand it is we know for sure they've been moved, for example, the stones for the pyramids, right? Yeah, of course. And from everything that I've read and listened to, we don't know, we don't have a way to justify how they were moved. Mm -hmm. So based on the knowledge we have now and the fact that we know this has happened and we can't justify how it happened, it means that at least in that very narrow branch of engineering, at least in that aspect, there were more civ- more advanced civilizations than us. Advanced I'm not saying there were knowledge. more advanced like yeah. knowledge on everything, but in that aspect, yes, they were more advanced than us. Because we, at the knowledge level we have right now, mm. we can't justify with our technology how we can do it. It. I don't mean that like I, I, a, I get aliens what you mean. came and like no, gave no, no. us the knowledge. But no, no, or no like, but that's the thing. Yeah. That, that's what I'm talking about, right? Oh, okay, there okay. is an advanced te- look. One very big example, and you guys can check it out. It's called the People of the Sea. Have you heard of them? No. So in the Bronze Era, uh, the Bronze Era, there was like a huge catastrophic disruption of, of civilizations where civilizations just disappeared in, in the Mediterranean, right? Yes. So apparently what had happened, all these satellite sort of villages that were trading in bronze just disappeared over like a span of six, seven months. Okay. Right, and a lot of the writing said that these people came from the sea, and destroyed them, like like literally wiped them out. Okay? okay, and they found that it this global event because it affected all like it didn't affect just the uh, Mediterranean. Um, records had gone to China, to you know far off places that are not involved due to trade showing that they had refugees coming in, they had a lack of bronze, why people went to uh, iron later, or a different metal. But an advanced civilization came from boats and attacked all of the Mediterranean. Right, so not ocean people. No, but no, no people not like coming, Aquaman. Yeah, no, 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 yeah, no, 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 but, but they called them no, people of the f- sea. When you first said people of the sea, I, I was imagining, you know, the last Wakanda movie, like people came from the sea. No, no, you know? no, no, no but, but that's, that's it. Imagine how terrifying that must have been by someone writing in those days, people of the sea coming. Right. And yeah. these people were apparently from all different ethnic groups. Mm. And they had no banner. There was no like king or whatever. But they all banded together and they attacked. There's even um, there's even decisive battles with Egypt where the Egyptians were fighting these people. And they called them people of the sea. And they were more advanced. They had different uh, 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 capabilities of military and stuff. And it was only lucky that Egypt was able to survive. Right. But these people had advanced. They didn't use bronze anymore. They used uh, 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 iron. They used something that was stronger than bronze. Mm. And this caused that wave because once they got attacked by these people, they, you know, maybe they killed one or two of them and took the iron and said, shit, look, this is a different Better, a- yeah. element in all of itself. And this ramped up this. But it's a very interesting discussion and it's a very interesting point in time because no one has any idea where the fuck these people came from. To this day, they can't they estimate don't, who it was or what they, they people like, they're, they're like, no, they literally just pop out of nowhere. Mm. Yeah, Some estimate that they came from either 
northern Africa mixed with southern Europe. And but but why did they have this big push to go into Mediterranean? Why were they migrating? What was right. happening? Why was this such a big disruption? You know, it and if it's a culture, if it's a country that exists until now, they must have had some sort of stories that would align history wise with exactly with them attacking exactly. and winning. Exactly. So, so, so imagine you hear about this and then you hear it from the side of the person who defended themselves against them. And like right. this king from Egypt managed to defend, but no one really has any clue who these people were. Uh, the thing is that like one thing you have to realize is that, for example, when it comes to history, right, we have like even right now, right, we say we're 2020, like we're 2000 AD, right? But when we're talking, what I'm talking about, right, is 9,000 BC. Mm -hmm. It's around like approximately 11,000 years ago, right? We're not talking about a king. We're not talking about like right the the sort of people that we're talking about are simple hunters and gatherers. Can you give me an example then? Because that maybe that's where I'm confused. So when you say, so when I hear hunter gatherer, it means civilizations haven't been established yet. When you have a hunter gatherer, it means that there's still nomadic tribes that you know are like Neanderthals that go around. And and one uh, one uh, like one thing you mentioned about the carbon dating and the pyramids, humans have got it. Scientists have got it wrong a lot of times. They used to believe that human beings only started a certain amount of years ago. Yeah. They found bones that were hundreds of thousands of years mm. before that. So I imagine ninety-five thousand. If that's the, yeah. that's the last. So question. imagine but, nine thousand BC. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but this would have been before countries were formed and like there's similar, no countries like it's exactly. way way yeah, before that's that. That's exactly yeah. it. So like when you talk about hunters gatherers, is that dude? I'm gonna go fucking hunt this shit and I'm gonna eat it right to survive. Right? Mm. There's no such like it like technology of like engineering right to make that like like 50 ton fucking stone right aligned in the perfect symmetry are you talking about um what is it called stonehenge stonehenge the, the stonehenge is the, the celtic one, the one you're talking about is in the um, UK. in England UK England. right no 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 the date of that is not even applicable to the ones that I'm talking about that, the, no, he's the, just talking about structure like the structures, structures that I'm world, talking about is much stone. much older no. than the Stonehenge like like when you're like don't think about Stonehenge right the, those are like stones aligned and everything the, the concept of it and all that I'm not too even like I don't have bits of information to even like get into that one mm -hmm. right but when I'm talking about for example building a pyramid with uh chambers inside of it that dates back around eleven thousand years ago that kind of a technology to, to structure something to construct something to that advancement to that to that level right is 100 percent in in the general concept right much much more advanced and the hunters got on much much beneath that kind of achievement you know what i mean i, I listened so, to something a few months ago I don't know if this is covered in this documentary or also I listened to a lot of shit, so I don't know how accurate I remember this. But I think a few months ago in uh, some section of South America, they launched these planes that would send, I think, sonar waves to do like an underground scanning, like different yes. layers of the ground. And they found civilizations like roads and structures that now have been basically like covered by the jungle. And they think the Amazon jungle is not actually native to that area there were plants that they put there as part of the civilizations like they brought from around the world they put there and now over the time it it has become native and they think that uh, for whatever reason like uh, same thing that happened to native americans happened to them that outsiders came introduced new bacteria to them after a few years the whole civilization was wiped and the uh, the jungle just ate the whole civilization like the mm. all the temples and like everything they had so there is, I, I, I know some of this, like, uh, the, the evidence of ancient civilizations that, like, had, like, that's cities and stuff way before than we thought they had. See, my point right now, that's why I said, like, let's, like, label it however we want as conspiracy theory or whatnot, right? Is the fact that let's not say, okay, these are the facts, right? Because, one, I'm not an archaeologist, historian, or whatever, yeah. right? 
I'm telling you. And also the extent of research is a Netflix documentary and a few podcasts. Yeah, so like, exactly. We're so not like, that guy that studied it for 20 years. 100% you know? not. This guy, it's not just been 20 years. I think it was 1980 something, right? Yeah. That he started like full on getting into like writing his first book right oh some okay so it's not like i can come here and like argue all of his points or anything like that i'm not that person i'm not the expert here right oh, this is the same as the like for example when i introduced the mk ultra thing yeah it's just that if you're interested in it go look into it yeah. more for 100% yourself percent. everyone is much like the i don't want to butcher his first name because you know but like the, his last name is hancock graham the, graham, hancock. graham hancock graham thank hancock. you and uh his documentary on netflix is called ancient apocalypse his has been the, like appeared on rogan multiple times everyone can look into it right what i'm trying to say is that okay let's think this concept this, let's take this concept okay mm. and what are your thoughts about it because when so like pre before like getting into this whole research and watching the documentary and everything right my limited knowledge self, right? Before, like, I thought the whole Noah's Ark and story was just a fuck, like a biblical story. Right. That's all there was to it in my, my. That's what I thought, right? After this, I there is clear facts pointing out that this actually the the, the flood happened. I'm not saying it that was Noah's a, Ark it was a, it was a global event, and I mean there's there's proof showing, as I said to you, that there's been, you know a rise in sea temperatures, a movement of people due to this. So it, it isn't something that's so far-fetched. Right. So, yeah, but so what I'm trying yeah, like to... For me, like that part of the story, like the flood wasn't the the part that I was calling bullshit on. No, no, I know. I know. The, no, but, what I'm, but, but it takes I'm influence just, from it. You know what I mean? Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. so what I'm trying to like put, put out here is that, okay, okay, this happened, right? They're, they're all talking about like ancient civilization, right? What do you, like, if, like, as us, People who are not experts, right? If there was like a advanced civilization, right? Mm. Why did it get wiped out? What happened to them? What do you think? What else do you think? Like pyramids and everything like that, right? Why is astrology? First of all, when I'm talking about astrology, if someone asks me what the fuck my star sign is <laughs> and trying to get my personality, <laughs> I legit turn off the t- like I legit turn. You know, away. I actually saw an interview with this bitch that uh, she was like, "Yeah, every day I wake up, I read my horoscope. I'm did base my day on that, like on daily basis." And like the it was like a it wasn't a documentary. I'm pretty sure they made it to make fun of her, but they followed her for a few days and like she would open it and then in the beginning of the day it was like, "Oh, you're gonna have a good day," and like you should like go. Richard goes, "What the fuck it is?" And she would actually follow it. But that's again, that's again the thing I've, I've said since the beginning of this podcast we've started. Human beings always need to have a higher power that judges or gives them reason as to why their day is good or bad. I'm not denouncing that there's no religion because I myself, am, I believe in a religion. But it's like, you see, when we talk about, you just said now, how do these advanced civilizations go extinct? One very well cataloged uh, reason is you have a barbaric uh, opposite culture that it's a warlike culture that destroy these people. That doesn't have the same rules as you. Doesn't have the same rules. The same they have been fighting their doesn't years. Have rules, period. Right. Look, yeah. Bro, l- l- look at the Mongolians in Baghdad. Baghdad was known as the Baghdad Iraq. In Iraq? Iraq was known okay. as the like literally the jewel of the Middle East, having the house of wisdom where they had all these books and had all of this. They had medicine. They had so they had doctors and scientists and teachers coming from all around the world to learn and teach there. Do you know how far back this is? Because I have no idea what. No, this is this is after Christ. I don't know exactly okay, when, okay. but this was in the time when you had the you know the Abbasid and the Umayyad caliphates. This was after Prophet Muhammad when re- when Islam was was a growing foundation, you know, mm-hmm. and um, yeah, uh, but, but you had. That's, I, I I don't want to. Fuck it up with false information, but I think that's like 580. I, I I I would not know. You okay, can search so it up on your phone. What yeah. happened with but the Mongolians? So the Mongolians came and burnt it to the ground. They burnt it to the ground, and how much knowledge must have been destroyed in that? Is same as the the Library of Alexandria. Same as Bardia's great grandmother, that got raped by the Mongolians. <laughs> I really don't like they said that. But no, no. well, how about our own fucking uh, like historical <laughs> culture, the Persian culture, the, the Persian Empire, like uh, the principle is like how it got burned down but by that's the Alexander thing. No, no, the but that's Great the thing. You see, like you see, that's the that. thing, right? The 
the definition of someone being advanced, a civilization can be super advanced in terms of agriculture. A it super advanced Persian Persians were the fine example of how they used to conquer a civilization, take the best of what they had, and build on onto it. You oh, know, we were like the gold standard for ethics, if you believe it or not. I know like that. We I know that for a fact. You guys, you had the. What happened to us? You, you, you were <laughs> no, no, no. But 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 Persians were one of the first, as even mentioned by Jews, who used to go to Babylon and all these places. Freed they the used slaves. to say that they the, uh, that that they, we freed the Babylon slaves. Yeah. No, but but Persians didn't believe in slavery. Yeah. No. Yeah. No they slavery. they believed in paid, uh, you know, paid work, and they that's even. Uh, I don't know if we talked about this on a podcast before or not, but I believe we were the first culture that had maternity leave, paid maternity leave for women. I mean, I I I I'm wouldn't know about that. Sure about but that. Like, but they could be like we, it's not too um, far fetched. Far from like yeah no, to but imagine, but no, but like for example, the Persian called the the Persian Empire, like the Cyrus the Great who created it. Uh, there was. No, like ev- everyone who was free to, uh, we we're kind of like sidetracking, but there was no, like everyone could practice their own beliefs. Everyone could like do as they wanted to and everything like that. So I, that I, 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 I get that 100%. The, the thing is that that's completely true. But the thing is that these populations where innovation, forward progressive thinking tend to be destroyed by civilizations that are more, you know, in tune with fighting, in tune with conflict their whole lives. Look at the Saxons when they what they did to Rome. Rome, Saxons used to live in mud huts, used to live in all these things. And then they went and they destroyed and they pillaged and and, and took away took away a more a more advanced um, civilization. You know, also at the time in those days, nat- natural events could wipe out civilizations. Look at Pompeii. A volcano wiped out Pompeii. Yeah. You know, apparently there was a, okay, again, the information I'm giving is very inaccurate, but apparently there was a, not the Pompeii volcano, but there was a volcano back in the day, whatever the fuck, that it was so big that reduced the population of humans to, I think, 10,000 people on Earth in general. So you can imagine that it doesn't matter how advanced you are, if an event like that, a natural disaster like that happens, mm. and the population around the entire world gets down to like say ten thousand people, I know this one which you're talking about because it actually wasn't the volcano that killed the people. It was the uh, it was of it, it was the ash that blocked the sun. Yeah, exactly. And, and it covered half of Europe, and the crops wouldn't grow. Yeah, crops wouldn't grow. Animals died. <sighs> and imagine population on Earth within I don't know how long. I don't it would think ten thousand. I don't think ten thousand. I'm pretty sure it's around that range. But it killed a lot of people. And the thing is that that in itself is well enough to wipe out a complete civilization. Right. No, just just think about it right now, right? All the information is online on the internet, hard drives, all of that. Imagine whatever event happens that we lose access to electricity. All the knowledge we have, all the books that they've scanned and they throw in the books out, all of the fucking Bitcoin information, all the like technology that we have that everything is online, all the medical books, medical journals, all of that is fucking gone. Have you heard and of this? Uh, have you heard of this warehouse they have in Antarctica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they have all world's equations, technologies, all written down and stored in like in like a vault. Yeah, but let's That's say in the scenario that like let's say fucking ninety eight percent of the population on Earth gets wiped, right? What are the chances the people have the quote to that fucking? <laughs> no, it's not like it's gonna be locked. Like it's like you go in there and it's I don't think it's open to the public. Over. No, no, no. But who the fuck's gonna go walk to Antarctica? Hey, I found this place. But I mean, isn't it's 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 interesting why you said that? Like all our technology is in the uh, in the grid or whatnot. But they've already thought about that in their building. Yeah, I know, but like let's think about it. Like if the population drops like fucking ninety five percent, the amount of people that are left. If you're someone that's like. Their generation right after that, you're born in the middle of fucking China or in fucking Ireland, the quiche right in beside us or some shit. You have no access to all that knowledge. And but once I, your parents die, and and like, no, for but example, I feel I feel like they have people that are there. Sorry, Bardia. I feel because like, they have people that are maintaining the site, right? So what would happen? Let's let, let's go into this doomsday shit. Right, yeah, right. you would have a civilization that's coming out of there because they even bro, imagine they even take each seed from a plant and they put it yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah. And they keep thousands of them, right? Yeah. 
So what would happen is that you would have us who were unlucky enough to go there and get all this technology, and then you would have a civilization hundreds of years coming that would be advanced and have all of that. Then you'd have the barbarians who would be like us who had to go back into the Stone Age or, you know. Yeah, like that uh, fucking, what is that island that's, I think it's like. In India? Like close to India that that guy went to like spread the word of Jesus or some shit. And they just attacked him. Apparently there's like 38 to 39 people on the island. Yeah. They're all products of in- incest. Knowledge base, I doubt they're Shakespearean, like reading Shakespearean yeah, shit. They're, there. they're still in, they're still in the hunter gatherer. Yeah, exactly. So that's basically gonna happen to majority of the world in the obviously in the scenario that like everyone goes to shit, everything goes to but shit. But that's crazy, huh? Thinking about it, like just by you not being that adva- and that's the thing. If you see why I believe these apocalypses happen, you know, these ancient civilizations disappear because a huge event happened to them, and there wasn't this sort of Look what's happening in Turkey and Syria now. If yeah. if it was on a bigger magnitude and we didn't have this global reach of helping each other, more hundreds of more people would die. And yeah, I, no I one would know about it. Exactly, was, yeah. exactly. Like imagine Kuroshi, you you'd go there and or imagine you'd be a part of you know, in, in the days of like let's say, you know, the Roman Empire and stuff, for you to get news of somewhere, you'd have someone going on a horse traveling months. Right. By the time he gets back, someone would have and destroyed that's this. the news that you asked for. Exactly. It's not just like, oh, by the way, what's happening in Turkey today? <laughs> like, it's not that. It's horrible, man. It's no, horrible. No, but in happening. general, if you look at the history of Earth, uh, I mean, not that we can look into it, but uh, there is a <laughs> cycle. This is the whole argument for climate change being... Bogus. Let's not talk about that. No, no, no. It, I'm not no, saying no, it is. No, no, no. Mm. But let's okay, just yeah. not go into that. Mm-hmm. But in general, it's a cycle event that Earth gets too hot, and ice cools age, down, yeah. Too hot, ice age. That's yeah. I heard and that there is one. Every time this happens, we kind of lose everyone from before. Yeah. Like even all these theories that like the guy that you're bringing up is talking about is after ice age. So who the fuck even knows before ice age? By the way, we missed yeah. our last ice age. Yeah. We, we were supposed it? to have an ice age. It didn't happen. So oh, so you said we missed it. <laughs> like there was an event we had. To, like Bro, you weren't there yeah. on, on September. <laughs> 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 Steve Aoki was presented. Like, uh, the, I took a cold shower. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. But apparently the last ice age didn't occur. And as you said, it's a cycle. Mm. So they actually can see when it's like in Antarctica, they do the carbon testing and they do all this right. and they can see the temperature rising and dropping. And apparently we are, we are well past the point of having one. Mm. So maybe it's going to come. Okay. Like, can I, I doubt Ice Age is coming. I think the next one is the heat version, not the Ice Age. I mean, like from the everything that's happening. Okay. I don't know. Yesterday I went to Spinney's. It was pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, God damn, they keep it cold in there. No, I was outside. Oh, yeah. I was like, <laughs> oh, outside. Uh, outside I don't God, know. Does this guy want a cold shower? <laughs> yeah, well, I swear, every time I have to walk through the frozen section in Spinney's, I want to kill myself. <laughs> it's so By the way, you're welcome, cold. boys. Huh? Imagine if Ice Age happens tomorrow. You've been taking cold showers. <laughs> You're good. Okay, we'll last 10 seconds By longer. Way, yeah, great. Way, In did, misery, did, we're just... Did uh, you, you guys do the cold shower today? Yeah, I, I just forgot to take a video. Okay. Yeah, yeah. bro. I, I do it morning and night. Okay. No, because like I was... Only I will post. Yeah, I will yeah. post. Because uh, this but, morning I was... Okay, can I go like... Let's get fictional here? Let's get super okay. fictional, okay. baby. So you said that you said that the whole Antarctica... Who's you? Had, Kurosh has said that the whole Antarctica has this vault. I said that. You said that? Yeah, said okay, Faisal said an article has this vault with all this information and everything stored in it, right? Okay. So um, let's take it back to that ancient civilization, right? What if the Antarctica people are the advanced civilization if the whole 95% thing we were happened? We are talking about that. Yeah. Oh, I was in the bathroom. Like, no, no, it's good. It's no, good. Continue. continue, like, continue. Let's say that... Uh, that 95% thing happens, only 5% remain, right? The people who have access, who still know that this uh, Antarctica vault exists, right? Go access that information, get like, get an enormous amount of knowledge. Yeah, from over it. generations, they either keep the same level of like smartness or get like more educated. They get educated. And everyone it, else, right? everyone just else like just set, goes yeah. back, we reset the dates to. The hunted gatherers. That's what it becomes. Like you and I know about it. You go to Antarctica, right? Kurush and I know about it. I would well, promise to tell you guys. Like 
but take we, me with you, bitch. You know? like, yeah, by the way, <laughs> don't leave me with this dick. <laughs> okay, guys, ladder. I'll tell you what's going on in like six years. <laughs> I come back, both of you have like spears and stuff. Okay, okay. Bro, what the fuck? You lost English? Like, <laughs> it's only been three months. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. You, you guys became a Kurdish couple. Put the axe down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, you guys became a couple and lost speech. Yeah. <laughs> Kurush. <laughs> suck, <Hey>. suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but imagine that, right? So you and I suck, become suck. barbaric and become hunters and gatherers, right? right? He goes, gets a, like continues the education, generation passes, right? Mm. A couple of generations, right? Yeah. I, we will have so much, like, no matter how much we try and everything, we will have so much limited access to continue and what limited knowledge we have. We'll with be no, so fit, though. Bench pressing stone head just like <laughs> But I come to you guys and I go like um guys, you know, how old are your kids? You'd be like, my kid God forbid, yeah? Like my kid's twelve, gonna die soon. Because you know the life expectancy <laughs> drops. <laughs> You mean lunch <laughs> for tomorrow because we have limited resources? He's lived a good life. <laughs> so, yeah. So, oh, God. let's say it's that. And then and the Antarctica people, right, mm. would then spread out mm. to go to different continents, right, right, with their advanced technology to be able to, like, access them and go through the oceans and pass through the oceans and everything. And then they try to civilize the hunters and gatherers yeah. that are then at that present time. Most likely would eradicate you guys. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I think you're going into this too, like... No, but he's right. That's how it would be. Like No, it wouldn't be like that. You just come in, kill everybody. No, and no. I, take I, over. Okay, okay, but I, here's what I know you guys. But here's <laughs> what you're saying. No. Yeah, but it's not you. It's your grandchild coming to kill my grandchild. No, I would show a photo of both of you. And see, <laughs> see this guy with like the... If the they have a beard, let them go. <laughs> But Not here's my what you're thinking. Here's what you're thinking. The people who are advanced, right? Would here people who are advanced, right? B- would like to spread that civilization and bring it back to the like, bring up Can the I knowledge. Change your mind. Change my mind. Right now, when you talk to a stupid person, right, which yeah. happens a lot, yeah. Do you try to educate them or end the conversation? End the conversation. I try okay. to educate. Not ext- extrapolate that by a few generations. Okay. And they're not just dumb. They're dumb and cavemen and don't speak your language. Okay. Would you kill them or try to educate okay. them? Okay. Here's what... I'd kill here. all of them, but keep two. Okay. Slaves? This is... No, like... like, to, like, like <laughs> to learn, like, like, to learn, like, what's changed in their bodies. So, then, you know, right. No, if so you do advanced, experiments. You, yeah, you <laughs> just watch them from a distance. Thank you. No, <laughs> but here's... Here, now, let me ch- try to change your mind. Okay. I don't think you can. Okay, let me, let me try. Speak to a stupid person. <laughs> let me try, right? Okay. So no, <laughs> you will you, kill. you will reach. Now nah, yeah, you'll fit perfectly <laughs> by the way, by the way. So uh, in whichever camp you put me, I'm yeah. <laughs> so you like the people who like preserve the knowledge and actually take advantage of and use the resources, mm-hmm. right? Would then see from history that. You need people. You need like it's just not the, not that small gen like small population, right? It's not just that small population that can Spread. continue the life on Earth, right? Right. So that's why I thought you were trying to like. Yeah, it's so cold. It's fucking freezing over here. <laughs> like, <laughs> so then you'll be like, okay, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and just enjoy and go on a killing spree, right? Pause. I know you attempted already, right? <laughs> you're not changing my mind. You're just advertising it. Or um, because you like so the, like you need people to grow. You need that ad- to advance to go to the next step. You need the people, right? Yeah. You will have limited resources of human beings who are trying to do stuff, right? But in order to civilize them, you need those access. You don't have to go to every fucking civilization and educate them and everything. Like one of these stories that. The myths, like in the ancient apocalypse, we're talking about, right? When the guy came on serpents, mm. right, and educated them, right? Then there was this war, and they got rid of the guy, right? Because they turned against them. That's the nature of humanity itself, as well, right? You cannot accept as much as you need that higher power. A lot defy the higher power. Yeah, but so, see, like in that scenario, you're assuming a lot of shit. 
So are you're you? Assu- this is a theory. This no, but like- I think mine is more likely. Okay. Because you're assuming that everyone that survives is thirsty for knowledge, even if they have access to it. Okay. But keep in mind that we're taking the same dickheads that are alive right now. And we, we're, no, we're talking about generations. No, 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 no. But you're putting them no, in. I know. You're putting them in extremes. Let's say this happens tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Can we agree that a percentage of the population are dickheads? Stupid. That, that majority. No, 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 I'm not talking about Bro, stupid. Majority, um, majority are, are dickheads. dickheads. Right. Yes. So they say one out of three people are dickhead. Dickhead. Yeah, okay. We both know who that is. <laughs> Me. Yes. Uh, no uh, one that is you. <laughs> okay, there <laughs> might be more than one in this room. But <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying that let's say tomorrow this shit happens, right? Yes. Out of the 5% of the population that survives, even if 2% of the population is like normal people and 3% are dickheads, you take that same amount and those are the people who have access to knowledge and then same percentage that are turning into cavemen, okay. right? Forget the cavemen people, like whatever. The people who have access to that information is first... They are thirsty for the keeping the information. They just fuck around and die, mm. right? And then generations after gener- generations, they get their shit together and they want to come out. The most likely thing that's going to happen is everywhere they go, they observe the people, kill the majority of the men, take majority of the women, and keep some of the men as slaves. You talk, okay. History has shown this. No, 100%. That's how because history works. Because we're going works. back that's into a society with zero rules. No, that's no, how no. society has worked throughout history, okay? Yeah. But let me say this. So you come in, right? Mm. Like, no. Let me, let's say I'm the advanced one, right? Okay. You are, let's say, not even you. Like, there are people, right, who mm. through generations have now gone back to hunters and gatherers, right. right? I'm standing there on the beach with a boat. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Right? So the they person is using... My a, dick swinging and everything. Yes. Yeah. The person is using an axe and everything like that, right? If it is how much knowledge I have, let's say it's a gunfight, but you're the person with the knife. Do you think, like, me coming with a gun and you having, like, a bunch of people having a knife, right? How much are you to want to overthrow me? How much do I want to overthrow you? Yeah, when I have a gun and you have a knife. Yeah, but if I don't have any understanding of what a gun is. Yeah, I'll a lot kill of the th- first four people that come to uh, for me. I'm not saying. <laughs> yeah. but like, I kill all them motherfuckers. <laughs> I will. No, I'm saying not all. Like, they're, 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 now, what did you learn? <laughs> 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 Again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbs up, man. <laughs> no, no, but look, again, you good, you good. So, uh, look, I, I don't I mean, think most probably it's gonna be a middle ground between what I'm saying and you're saying. Like, let me let's, hit. Let's, let me hit this. You be bro. the middle ground. Yeah, hit it. Hit it. Let me explain. Yeah, so, hit it, Fergie. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that again, in this situation, it's never really happened before, right? We, the people that would be more educated, would have that understanding that you know, in civilization, we've been brought up in this way, where we sort of you know, um, take advantage of the less fortunate, mm. you know, and you're right that there are a lot of people who are dickheads, right? Mm. But you also have to remember the people that do get this area that has the, um, let's say the, the vault. Mm. Yeah. It's not like everything's just set up for them. They would still have to be able to develop. They would have to be able to, you know, know what the differences are now that they don't have these power plants and whatnot. There would be that change. I think that it is, it is something similar to what you say that, okay, generations down the line and actually there's a very good tv show that like sort of simulates this but in a different different sense uh it's called c i don't know if you guys have seen it so uh, yes oh yeah, yeah, yeah so basically majority of the populations are losing eyesight while okay so as i was saying yeah so yeah there's a show called c and yeah. it's with jason momoa and it talks yeah. about how this how the population the global population. Have you seen this show? No. So what happens is basically whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, motherfucker, what you talking about? <laughs> you guys are so fucking slow when you're describing shit. I was just no, explaining. I, I agree. I'm, hey, I'm fast as fuck, boy. Go. Go. To me. Go. Okay. <laughs> basically, the show is about the global population. And like through the years, they start losing all their eyesight. So there's like four, like 10 to 15 people in the show that have their eyesight. Yeah. So... It shows how the difference is. We've all gone back to stones and, you know, shitting in the f- corner of a room and there's no irrigation. Well, three or they're blind. I don't know <laughs> if it's the corner of the room. <laughs> no, so like everyone... I shit? <laughs> I, I don't shit? Warm. I shit. Are their noses gone or something? Like, I shit? 
just like <laughs> fucked up Jason Momoa's show now. Yeah. It well, was actually, a, it's a really good show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should say so that. So the people that. who have eyesight basically are the They're ones like that can witches. read books. They can read books. They can see people. So imagine in the show you have like assassins that are walking around so slowly and everyone's blind so they don't know where they are. And then one guy sees the assassin and goes... <laughs> yeah, like what are you doing? Yeah. yeah it's, but you it's, can't say it because then if they know you're, you have your eyes, they think you're witches. Uh, so even when you see the assassin bro, coming, you're going to be like... <laughs> I feel, <laughs> I feel something. You heard that? <laughs> like, uh, it bumps who's out there? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Everybody pause. Who's farting? <laughs> I bumped into someone. It doesn't feel like a guard. But Is that your dick or a knife? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd be able to tell the difference. Especially if you still have your eyes. Like, it doesn't dick. No, I'm saying if you want to, you know. Right. But, it's, but it's very, it's a very interesting show. How soft is your knife? <laughs> <laughs> It'll take 24 days for it to cut through the skin. That's the point. I want it to last. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Good show. Good show. Talks about the differences in people and especially how the people who have sight and able to read would have all this knowledge about... Like, there's a scene where people are living in mud huts and then there's a guy who has electricity, a running dam, and has like... He makes guns. So imagine someone who doesn't know what a gun is and just hears like a, like a thunder. Right. And then the... <laughs> <laughs> it's the end, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Nothing. <laughs> well, can I? Can was we? Was it Reagan who said that if you hear Reagan, <laughs> president? Yeah. Were you were you there? Oh, I thought like, you were talking about Rogan. You said it wrong. No. no. Oh, okay. He was like, if you hear it, uh, you're fine. Like if it's like the gunshot thing. It was like if you hear it, it's fine. But if uh, you don't like, hear it, you're dead. Because when the gunshot sound, no, yeah, no, because the remember the balloon, there was an assassination attempt, and the next day or a couple I thought he days, said you miss me, you miss me. No, I said remember what is happening I in this conversation. But I get what you mean. Remember if you, with if the you balloon can hear pop, the, he was like miss me. If you can hear the gunshot, then you're fine. Because if you hear it, you haven't been shot. Yeah, but what if it's not a headshot? Like when you get shot in the leg, you still it's heard an assassination it. Assassination attempt. So like if you hear it, you're fine. Like. You're not dead. That's yeah, the whole yeah, point. Yeah, if you can hear it, it means like you're not dead. Like you might be shot, but you're like, hey. It might hit your gut. You got a couple of hours of your stomach acid like what if you're burning deaf? you inside. <laughs> what like, if you're, you're not fine. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, can, I, can I take this conversation into a stupid direction? Tell me. So like, let's say. None of this has been smart. No, none of us hey, are hey, hey, no, well, I was feel like, like I feel like a majority of it, there was some intellect. No, but at least we're pretending to be smart. But uh, I concur. Yeah. So let's say tomorrow some event happens, like a zombie shit, or what, what, what are your first moves? Living in the country we live in right now. You want to hear mine? Yeah. I go fast. I go fast. Are we talking right? zombie or are we zombie. talking like nuclear bomb? But what like kind of zombie? Like I am legend kind of athletes that run like this? Or are we talking about the ones that like... Cro let's say mixture. Like what do you mean mixture? Like there's so like the stupid first ones? Thing, <laughs> first thing is... Hussein Bolt? Like the black I'm ones are the athletes. <laughs> you have to... Like the Mexicans <laughs> are the slow ones. No, no, you, you have get to get caught in the fence and shit. <laughs> what are they? Let me over, man. Get the ball. Build the ball. <laughs> no, yeah, give me one. They're barbecue tortillas. <laughs> nah. So racist, man. <laughs> All of this is getting beeped. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, beep, beep, uh, beep, beep, beep. Let's go with the fast one. What like, oh, beep. fuck, man. Okay, now I, I already am not going to survive this, okay? Right, so. But. Are you going to let me finish? <laughs> I, okay, sorry, we're talking. Like, no, okay, so basically, go to the palm, okay? Okay. Block the palms one way in, the bridge. Right. Okay? Live on the palm. Where are you getting food from? There's a grocery <coughs> store. I have a, there's For boats. How long? You can go there. No, you can, you can go, like, you can do yeah, excursions. Okay. Yeah, so basically, fill out, so you're saying, like, fill out your house with, like, like supplies. food. Like, supplies. And like that's if no one in palm food. gets infected. Yeah, that's if also one person thing. is infected, then you're your plan, You don't have a road out. Okay, think out of it bridge. like this, yeah? I killed everyone. Okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. So realistic. No, no, no. Realistic. Okay, like, like, <laughs> no, 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 like real, okay, if a zombie apocalypse did happen, right? Right. I would get onto one font of the palm and block it off and make sure before anything happens, check that font, you know? Yeah, but you front. can swim from font to font. Do front, zombies front. swim? No, I'm talking about other people can come. I don't give a fuck. It's called front, not font. Yeah, <laughs> like, from you font to font. font. No, you said font. Proof. Fuck you, we'll roll it back. <laughs> we have already a clip for you ready, by the way. You post. It's Fronda. Okay, so your first step is, it, that's your first thing you do, you, you so drive the, to the, There's a book called How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. 
tells you realistically how to actually survive a zombie apocalypse. Guns. I'm going to get am- like guns, ammo, and canned food. Not guns. Swords. Too loud. Can get blunt. Yeah. Well, it depends on the zombies. Some movies, the zombies are attracted to <laughs> sound. <laughs> grabs the sword. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> well, was it... Was it- it was Bird Box was seeing them, right? Not hearing them. No, it wasn't even were, zombies, bro, bro. Those were just trees. <laughs> yeah. Shit like yeah, no, it was like, cool. like Kurosh's was... part. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at its eyes. <laughs> no, that was... <laughs> that was, was The Walking Dead. That was the sound. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. so... Okay, in your scenario, is this sound? That does, do you if you're going Walking Dead, sword first. Well, to be fair, you would need guns to kill the people. Yeah. So yeah. now we're going Walking Dead. You fucking gave me these athletes <laughs> fucking vaulting over. Okay. okay. First of all, if we're going Will Smith, whatever that that one. Oh, yeah, we're dead. First of all, we're dead. I'm saving as much dogs as I can because those fuckers getting the dogs, I'm gonna be crying all day. But then your dogs are gonna die. No, I get them, take them to the desert, or like make a house somewhere. The zombies are gonna take a while to what? walk in the sand. Have you, they don't walk? Those things sprint. Yeah, but in the sand, still like even your athlete in the sand, you slow down. Okay, uh, you clearly haven't watched. Dude, these things were running on walls. I know, but I <laughs> <laughs> that's all the hope this, I have. This guy's but gonna have a fucking <laughs> tent. <laughs> Don't worry, it's sand. Yeah, no, but like, first move would be killing a bunch of people, not the zombies. Just <laughs> out of nowhere, it's like news announces zombie apocalypse. Fucking guns ready, Papa. <laughs> I, I, I'm so worried to be with him at a barbecue or something. This just now, Kurosh, Kurosh, it's me, face up. I'm sorry, face up. He has his bowl ready. He's like, motherfucker. He looks at me. Can't do it. Like, no, because in in the moment of panic when that happens, first thing you have to worry about is the people. You are the person you have to worry about. <laughs> what are you fucking saying? Yeah, you're- by the way, you're the first one out, by the way. Yeah. Like, like, no, man, I'm getting in my car and getting the fuck out. First stopping at the police station, hopefully all their cars are out. They're going like to fucking no, th- help people not- and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grabbing as much as I can from the police station. Next would be like a sports shop that have some rice swords in them. And then okay. <laughs> what sports shop has a, you want a katana <laughs> or you want to do so? Well, it doesn't have to be like that shop. Get a cricket bat. You fucking smash the shit out of their heads. Yes, but it can get Metal stuck bat. in them. It can get stuck in them. In How their does head. A, in the zombie's head. A bat and a sword wouldn't. Sword cuts through. No, a it bat. doesn't. Bro, sword. What do you mean? Sword, Wait, you cut How are a you couple of times hitting hitting blood. a bat gets stuck in them? Huh? A bat? <laughs> <laughs> You're not showing up their ass, man. That's how you kill them. You, you just, don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> you don't, you don't know what I want to do. <laughs> like, he's like, <laughs> imagine he's like, <laughs> like shoves it up. Oh, he's not dead. Let me m- move it around a little bit. I'll get to his head sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> you get some noob. <laughs> the zombie is keep looking at me. Keep, keep looking at me. <laughs> zombie is calling the helpline. Like, I've been raped. No, but I I already know if any zombie apocalypse, I'm not going anywhere near Kodosh. you will be like, face out. Listen, come over. You're safe. Trust me. No, you know I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> and me, motherfucker. Like well, you didn't even say you were gonna come here, so. Well, <laughs> now I don't want to. Bitch. <laughs> what, I, I call you, bro. Trust me, it's fine. He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> no, but technically, you should come to my house because I'm the only one that has a smoker. If you want like meat for long term, I'm the only one that can smoke it properly for you. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know the, what, bro, that's man, the, speak some facts. Bro, <laughs> that's the first thing we'll do. Bro, get the smoker ready. <laughs> There's like zombies jumping. Yo, I'll take care of it. Just make sure that the smoker's done. Yo, right? uh, do we have a bit of honey for the ribs? <laughs> like. No, Zombie Apocalypse, bro, there's a really good book you should read. It's called How to Survive a Zombie Apocalypse. Right. And it's actually like people from the military that study these scenarios and they write about like, okay, let me give you an example. Wait, how many times these scenarios has happened that they no, study? No, no, no. So, so it's like actually... Theoretically, it, like theoretically? Like risk assessment. Theoretically. And they use like real world scenarios where people make a run on f- grocery stores and stuff like that. So in your... Give, give me, let me give you a question, uh, like a, a quiz. Scenario. Scenario. You get into a city... Okay, where are you gonna stay in a building? Where would you stay in a building? Uh, in what scenario? Like, like you want to sleep there overnight? Oh no, no zombies and stuff. No, there are zombies. Oh, okay, so there's zombies. There zombie? Like, like there's zombies. They haven't found you, but you also have people to worry about. So in the in the building, where would you choose to sleep? Like the apartment building. Like, are you talking about an apartment building? A, villa, a like? random apartment building. Yeah. Okay. Top, middle, bottom. Okay. Where would you sleep? Are you talking about just yourself or you have access to like helicopter for like 
existence. Are we talking a mili- like a military scenario? I'm talking about, about me as me. Korosh is tired. He's walking. He needs yeah. to stay somewhere for the night. My lazy ass ground floor. <laughs> ground floor. You pick ground no, floor. No, no, I don't think I would have. You shut it. your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? No. Realistically, zombie situation. Uh, how many floors are the building? Like how tall? Oh is the my fucking god! <laughs> it's either you stay in the top, the bottom, or the middle. Where? Middle. Okay, you. Top. Okay. Well, actually, why did you pick middle? Realistically, <laughs> right? I'm too lazy to go all the way up. Why did you pick top? Because to access the top, it much takes much longer. But at the same, right now, I'm kind of. Yeah, I don't think zombies have the zombies have cardio issues. Like no, but, coming, but what I'm thinking like, about is actually stop me maybe, and coming up. Maybe as an exit route, the lower you are, the better. So they say that the best place to stay is in the middle. Yeah, because the middle, if you need to move up. If you, you base it on your lazy ass. No, yeah. no, he just said middle, <laughs> middle, because I, no, I, I, no, like I was gonna say I, in the first third, like if there's like thirty floors, I would go like nine. So 10, you should there. be, you should be in the middle because in the middle, you first of all have time to react to hearing someone coming up. Mm. So you can either go up floors or down floors, passing right. them, yeah. and you have more time where you can go to another fire escape or whatever there might be. I was be. thinking also building collapse. If you the zombie just came and punched the walls or some shit like that. No, like, but like. <laughs> What kind of fucking superhuman zombies are we talking about? (laughs) First they were slow, then they were Usain Bolt, now they're fucking Hulk smash kind of fucking building shit. No, but the way he said it, just in case building crumbles. No, from an engineering standpoint, the building can crumble easily. For example, it's not like the zombies are following the how many people should fit in an elevator on a floor, Bro, right? This isn't Iran. <laughs> like it's imagine like a building in Shazai. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> if like forty thousand zombies. Uh, <laughs> No, but if the first the floor elevator collapses, says eight. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what is <laughs> it? <laughs> Habibi. <laughs> Next one. Wait, this is pre-corona or post-corona? The, the capacity of the elevators. So sh- <laughs> but by by you staying in the middle. Wait, of- if a zombie is wearing a mask, like let's say ru- <laughs> you right before you turn into a zombie, right, and you're wearing a mask, when you become a zombie and you can't bite anything, does that mean we kind of like cancel it out? Like, yeah, if you can't bite anything, it's not like a, it depends on the infection, right? So if yeah. like there's me and my brother love watching zombie movies, so there's like scenarios. If War any Wars fluid, Z. if any fluid gets on you from like right. their blood mm. or mucus gets into your mouth, into your eyes, you're fucked. Mm. So a lot of, in a lot of these movies, it's like in Walking Dead, the woman cuts their mouths off and oh, their hands, really good. Yeah, yeah. and she uses them to blend in. Yeah. So, but the thing, why? I think the, the best one was World War Z. That was with amazing. Brad Pitt. That was amazing. Have you seen that one? No. Bro. Missing out. That was really yeah, big zombie movie fan. I know, but this one. one is nice. But as I was saying, so the middle is always the best. And also, they also discuss about which weapons are really good. Really? And like the, what? Like a sword is good like four or five times, but a sword isn't meant to cut skulls and beat, the, it gets blunt. Right. So the things you should use, like a bow, is a little bit too slow. Not just slow. Limited you're ammo, at, also. Yeah, yeah, like, you're, imagine you're like, when you hit wait. someone, and, no, no, but not, <laughs> not even if that. you're a hot guy. That guy, well, is he alive? He's alive, yeah, he's okay. alive for now. Right, I mean, in general, everyone's for alive for now. For now. Like no, in general, alive. everyone's alive for now. I'll it's take like, care of him. Yeah. Bro, it's like he's been trying to find him <laughs> for now. I'll get you, Hawkeye. Next no, no, villain, in general, everyone's alive for now. That's okay, everyone, okay, yeah, but um, yeah, using a using a bat or a cricket bat, you only have a couple swings that it gets fucked. So you need to find like you need to find there's like a sweet spot there's like a metal bat but the, you know these things have lives on them like if you hit they're not meant to hit skulls. So there's this thing that Persian army used to do before like in the Cyrus the Great time like around that time they would take the you know the what do you call it it's kind of like a wheelchair type of thing that they would stand on horses with carry chariots. Them. Yeah, they would put a half dome. Uh, metals Sword. in the front, like kind of swords in front of it, and then they would go Cut in the like, legs huge off. lines mm-hmm. and just like basically like ride into the people. I think that would be good to have in front of your car for zombie situations. Yeah, but you also have to remember cars themselves. It, you know, zombies aren't avoiding the car; they're hitting the car. The car will get damaged, right? Yeah. So the best like insurance will cover. <laughs> Hi, is this AXA? Yeah, uh, my wheel is off. I'm just wondering if you can bring me up. Yeah, does this weird light uh, pop on my dashboard right now? It's like, 
But this said the zombie took the soft top down. <laughs> <laughs> do do uh, does blood uh, remove the warranty? <laughs> but it, yeah, it's very interesting. I, honestly, I think we should do next episode on like stupid situations like this and what we would do. All right, like each it. person comes with a scenario and what would be the other person's reaction right. and like how would they would do it. Let's do it. So I think for today we've done. Like we can call it twenty minutes or yeah, something. Let's call it. I'm down. I'm down. All right, All right boys. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for watching this episode of the podcast. Thank you. As usual, don't forget to like, subscribe, and also check out our social media. <laughs> wow, that was gay. Uh, check out our social media platforms. That's what See you said next last week. Night. He always yeah. got to say, have some gay shit in yeah, this episode. Yeah, I swear to God. See how he 